So we're off to our book signing in Knoxville. We it's on the Corey's house is on the way, so we've stopped to pick up Corey. We got Katie in the back. Hey, Katie. Hey. And we're we're ready. We're excited. Excited about everyone that we're going to see today in Knoxville. We're coming to you, Knoxville peeps. <laughs> Woohoo! We're excited. <laughs> Scared me back there. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> Just trying to keep you on your toes. Yeah, well, you are. So this is a beautiful, beautiful area of Cherokee County. We don't come this way very often. Ever. Uh, ever, really, much. When was the last time we were down here? When we come this to see Josh's, Josh's uh, antique store last year. I'd like to go back to that, too. Maybe he'll open it this year. If he does, we'll be sure to let you know. But that was probably the last time. But it's beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you're a person who gets car sick, you might not like it. I get car sick terribly, but when I'm driving, it's not so bad. Corey gets car sick. Corey, are you car sick? Surprisingly not. Oh, well, yeah. good. Okay. And Katie, Katie usually don't get car sick. She can usually lay upside down and read a book and she don't care. Yes. I don't yeah. really ever, I've never been affected by the car sickness unless my stomach's upset before I get into the car. Yeah. But it's usually not, so I'm okay. So this is kind of a back way that we would go, like an alternate route instead of going down through the Okoe Gorge. And we used to come this way when we would go, not to Knoxville, we weren't going to Knoxville, but we were going to Berea, Kentucky. And in those days, Corey would get so car sick, oh, so car sick. And I remember one time we were coming, we were actually on the way back. So we were coming back through here and she was car sick. She was begging me to set her out. She was just being totally unreasonable. And I was like, she wanted us to stop. I'm like, Corey. We've been gone for three days and home is within 30 minutes. We can't stop. We can't. We got to go. She wanted me to set her out on the side of the road and leave her. I was like, and then I would just have to come back and get you. I can't do that. Do you remember that, Corey? Yeah. She, she was much younger. But it, being car sick is miserable. miserable. It totally is. I agree. It's miserable. When I was young and we would go places, Pap would always have to, it would kind of go like this. Tipper gets car sick, stop, let Tipper throw up, then stop at the next gas station we pass for a Coke and potato chips for Tipper. That was our, our every, that's the routine. Every, that was the routine that's if the routine. we went further than, you know, around Murphy or whatever. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. I've been blessed by not being that car sick, and I don't think Nick gets car sick either, so we're both blessed. That's well, good. my constitution in general is stronger now. Not that I don't still get sick. There's Josh's. Yeah, there's Josh's place. Not that I don't still get sick some, but it's not as bad as a kid. And I remember that trip uh, very vividly. And I remember being miserable and thinking, if she just sets me out, if I could get well, like two minutes of relief. Yeah, one of those trips we rode in Dad's uh, single cab truck. Yeah, I think that was the and trip. And that was part of why it was so rough, because it was a, an uncomfortable ride. Well, it was a stick shift, and it was a single cab, so like one person had to straddle the kind of middle. Yeah, I and... don't think that was that time. I think that was the forerunner when we were. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, anyway. when we took the forerunners when I hung upside down to yeah. finish my library book. It is miserable, though. Uh, Pat was car sick, and he, they always told me that my mama Marie was. I can remember her, but not enough about whether or not she was car sick but that she had to always ride the front seat, always, she could never ride in the back seat. And Pap told me he was like that, that he um, had a weak stomach like that, would get upset easy, uh, especially when cars come along and he could ride in a car, but even other stuff, like if he got up real early, if he stayed up real late, and that's kind of how I am, how I've been my whole life. But he told me that what cured him was uh, being a, in the Marine Corps when he was a Marine, being on a big ship. And he said, and for the first three, about three days or four days, I was so sick, I thought I would never live. I was so seasick. Um, and he said a lot of other people were too, because in those days, of course, you know, what common to all of a sudden find yourself on, he was a, a mountain boy or a, even a plains boy or whatever, and all of a sudden find yourself on a boat. I, I would be the same way today. I've never been on a big boat like that. But anyway, he said then after about four days, he got over it and he never struggled with that the rest of his life. Uh, it just cured him. One or two of them he he said there out. was one boy that never, it just went on and on and on and on, and he could not get over being seasick. And they finally had to transfer him to, to something that was not on the sea, was not going to be on the sea. So definitely, uh, I guess we've inherited it from, from Pap and Mama Marie anyway. I don't ever remember Granny getting car sick, so I don't think it come from her. I remember he told me about, he just would say things like this. He'd say, dog, you can't imagine how big those aircraft carriers yeah. are. And everything you can feel. And he just told me how that was part. 
part of the part of it is like being scared <laughs> because it was so different. And they are huge. Yeah, they are. They're massive. Like this, where I have seen stopped. them before where they had a temporary one. We stopped at one one time in Oregon. They had one, and we had to wait a really, really long time. They were doing something up the mountain. It used must, to be one in the gorge. It must last a long time because they've got a sign that says maximum three minute red. <laughs> so right. I guess they're telling you, oh, you may be sitting here, sitting here a while, but it's not going to be more than three minutes. Stay in lane to extend green. Stop here on red. These are very efficient. Yeah. yeah. yeah they're giving you all the info. 411. Yeah. That is so funny that Mama said 411 because that's the highway we're getting on. Four <laughs> is it? That's hilarious, Mom. Yeah. Uh, you used to be able to, uh, they must be redoing all this part. We're going under the railroad trestle. What water is this? Uh, oh, I bet there's fish in it. I, I bet there is. is. I did pray, so. I did, I was like, God help us all. I prayed too, but it's okay. 
Well, what a great day. Oh my goodness, what a whirlwind. It was so wonderful meeting everybody. It was, we were just blown away by everyone that come out. We were just so excited to meet everyone and uh, learn a little bit about you and see your face and put faces with names. Oh, great. It was just so great. I had such a good time. Did you, Corey and Katie? Oh yeah, had a wonderful time. absolutely wonderful. I feel so blessed. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was such a such a blessing, and so many people um, there. Corey, we were trying to get Corey to look at the mountains a minute ago. You can kind of see them over here. We said that's where we're going. Homes over there. Yeah, we got a lot better view of them now. Yeah, but it was so nice uh, meeting everyone. But so nice of everyone to ask about Miss Cindy and to say they were praying for her. We just really, really appreciate that, and we can feel those prayers. We can feel that comfort okay. and uh, feel your all those prayers that you're praying they're really working um, you know she's not had much pain that's a true true blessing I think I can feel those prayers giving us strength to get through this so we're so appreciative of that and everyone was so I don't think there was one person that come through that didn't say that they were praying for Miss Sandy so really wonderful a lot of people were so kind they brought us gifts it's going to be like christmas when we get home we're going to open them up and see what see what's in there i know there's some jelly and some butter and some cheese and mm. i don't know what else so some seeds lots of different things somebody that we got brought me rocks. somebody brought katie rocks so it was just really really wonderful and the, of course the mass general store folks they everyone that we've been to they are so kind and so nice so they they really treated us great stayed right with us and in case we needed anything brought us water and took us a tour on the in the basement of Chandler, the if you see this you brought <laughs> yeah yeah thanks Chandler uh, basement which was really fascinating told us some of the history of the building the actual building so really amazing time it was great the next Ma Mass General Store book signing that will be is June 10th in Roanoke Katie what do you remember the times of that um, let me check it out that would be 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. but we'll be sure to tell you about it before then so we're gonna uh, kind of have a weekend off next week but we are going to be June 1st in Swain County in Bryson City and I'll put that information in the description below that's we will be selling books and signing books but it's more of a be talking about the book and kind of uh, having a discussion with whoever shows up answer questions and those kind of things so we hope to see you see you at one of the future ones we're also going to be in Boone is that June 17th Katie June 17th June 17th and, and that's two different ones in Boone that day 11 but, to 2 at the Mass General Store and 3 to 6 in Sugar Grove yeah so we'll put all that information you probably couldn't hear Katie but we'll put all that in the description below and of course between now and then we'll be reminding you and telling you about it because we'd love to meet you if uh, you're able to come to one of those events so girls we're ready to go home ain't we ready to, go. ready to go home Yeehaw. we hope you enjoyed seeing a peek into our day and as always we really appreciate you your support and helping us celebrate Appalachia and the wonderful support that everyone's shown for our cookbook let's go home girl